we appreciate that a lot. Uh, Deputy Lebeker has got a good program set up again, I think. That is, that is Mike Lebeker, so you know he's in disguise, so it's one of those. No, it's glad, glad to have you guys all here and uh, kick off the season. As you know, it's already been a, a tough start until we got three fatalities with the surrounding counties really quick. It's a shame. Um, but we know it's going to happen, unfortunately. But uh, we'll do our best um, in putting out a good uh, presence, a good message to everybody, and uh, do the best enforcement we can. So, um, like I say, I thank you guys all the time uh, for coming up here. I thank you for uh, the cooperation we get from uh, different agencies and helping out to uh, keep the hill as safe as we possibly can. And uh, with that, too, I also want to introduce to you the sergeant in charge of Parks and Recs. Now, working closely with Mike Leather and Sergeant Brett Cronizer from our department. He's now in charge of the Parks and Recs, and been working closely with uh, him and he and, he and uh, Mike working closely together, putting the, the program and, and, uh, and the ATV as well together, and our, and our Marine units together. So, um, I guess that's all that I have for you guys. It's good to see everybody, and like I said, thanks for being here, and uh, we'll get get kicked off. Mike, yep. just want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, the bathroom right over here, and coffee doing it on the side. We've got a pretty good crowd here today. We got a uh, newcomer, uh, the Nine of the Nation Police, are here. Uh, on the Channel Two News, a couple weeks ago, the sled from UPD, so I invited them down. Kind of the same setup uh, today as it was the last couple of years. Uh, we got New York State, New York State Parks here. We got uh, New York State uh, Motor Vehicle Investigators here, and the New York State Snowmobile Association uh, here also. Uh, we've got some uh, state representatives here from uh, Senator Griffith's office is here, and uh, our county manager is here as well. So, um, if you have any questions, we'll, we'll wrap this up by noon. If you have any questions, anything, raise your hand. Or, from meeting here we got raise your hand or whatever so um, but, yeah. so we'll start getting going here on this whole uh, <coughs> little get together this started like 15 years ago and it's kind of mushroom much 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 bigger so it's really turned out pretty good uh, a lot of people here have a lot of knowledge in snowmobile enforcement some have a little there's a lot of experience here and that's and that's where you get your experience. You, you learn a lot of stuff is talking to different people. They're involved in the sport. You learn a lot. That's how I learned it. Justin pays off. So I'll turn it over to. Oh, Mike. You're standing so. <laughs> Um, <coughs> it's where the 
show is, and it's where the people, it's dense populated sport in that area, so it, it makes a lot of sense that those three counties and towns would be impacted by that. So, are the town and web numbers included in Herkimer County area? Yeah. 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 Oh, seriously, is that how it is? Um, wait, so all of, all but one were in the town of Webb. Um, and Bennett, this is Bennett Campbell. He's the one that collects all of this information and then uh, makes a nice little summary report of what he receives uh, at our office. I also have Jim McFarland, who has been pretty much the pioneer in the, in the law enforcement side of things. Many of you have probably met him. He attended our Snowville Law Enforcement Development School. So um, I apologize for not introducing you guys immediately. Um, so alcohol, while it's a small percentage with the overall accidents of last year, um, you know, it's still something that we need to push out to the public. I do have, we, we have zero alcohol coasters. You guys want to pass them out to bars? Maybe you'll get someone to think twice about not mixing alcohol with riding a snowmobile. If you feel free to take some, we also have more. If you would like, we can send them directly to you. Um, so tickets, uh, we continue to doubt the efficacy, efficacy, efficacy of tracking tickets on our end. It requires a large amount of time and commitment, and we're unsure of the comprehensiveness of data that's coming to us and usefulness of data produced through tracking. We don't know what we don't know. Uh, so that's, you know, we, we collect the tickets as they come in, but if they're not sent in, you know, it's things are kind of left out there. Ben could probably speak to more of that. Uh, you guys know what you're out there writing. You can see here we got 280 tickets for 1718. That's a uh, drop in the bucket, probably, what that is written out there. So we're not sure how valuable these stats are. Um, so I'll let you guys read through the details of the tickets. They were slightly decreased from the prior two seasons, uh, close to 400 in 15-16 and 16-17, and just under 300 for 17-18. Um, that may be very well because law enforcement is on a trail more and people are behaving a little bit better is what we'd like to hope. Uh, safety education. In 2017-18, we had 133 classes and almost 2,100 students came through, 25 new instructors were certified, and we have over 300 active instructors. Um, we do promote having more people uh, to be able to provide these services, so if you'd like to become an instructor, contact Bennett and he'll set you up. Uh, update to materials is still in progress. We have no TA, ETA on the draft. Once it's complete, it'll go through the safety instructors and NISA safety committee for comment. Um, active instructors have been asked to provide this type of information uh, for several years now. Uh, we have purchased an updated DVD and rolled it out to all active instructors over the summer. ISMO released a series of updated videos as well. Links have been set to the instructors. Uh, law changes. As of January 1, 2018, the fee structure for unregistered snowmobiles changed. Unregistered is now a mandatory 200 up to 500 maximum. Failure to improperly display is up to $100. 50% of those fees collected go into the trail fund. Um, law enforcement. The state aid. Um, the maximum grant awarded was increased recently to $200,000. This year we had 20 law enforcement agencies that participated. The breakdown uh, you can see is below. And there, so with the 20 law enforcement agencies that submitted, they submit the requested amount, which totaled $324,702.61. Uh, of that, after Jim went through 
and uh, audited out what was not an eligible expense. The amount approved is $310,319.43.42. So each agency that submits a claim for that is eligible for 75% of that back. Um, we had over the $200,000 maximum after the 75% amounts were calculated. So it was prorated, each county was prorated to meet that $200,000 maximum cap. Um, we're hoping that more counties participate. You can see, um, Jim, how many did we have participating last year? 16. 16, so we got four more this year. Um, we're hoping to get, we've seen more activity in our law enforcement development school more people are contacting Jim for information about that. So we're really just looking to, you know, um, continue to grow our relationship with law enforcement. Um, you know, law enforcement is a very, very key part of this entire program. It was just raised. I know, recently. obviously there's a gap still. Yeah, and we uh, have more counties involved. And we actually just talked about that. It is something that we would like to discuss because if we keep um, growing and getting law enforcement out there, it's going to have a safer, safer snowmobiling experience and community. So, so it's definitely something that we would like to entertain. Like we budgeted to proceed, Lewis County budgeted to proceed the full amount for 2019 five. What we're seeing here is that. Obviously, it's just under that price. There's a cap for the whole state. Correct. Correct. And you do have a lot of, Lewis County does have a lot of the population <coughs> in your area. You've got the snow, you've got the trails. So. Um, well, the comment we made on the legislation initially, they said they raised the cap for each individual county to $50,000 reimbursement <coughs> up to the statewide maximum of $200,000. So we're going to hit that 200,000 we did this the first year that it's implemented and so it's going to be a problem going forward in that everybody's going to you know like we paid 85 percent of your 75 percent reimbursement so i just want to caution everybody is when you budget to just realize it's probably going to be going forward every year since until the law gets changed again it's it's going to be not the full 75 percent reimbursement <coughs> Snowmobiles? 
Yeah. That's the rumor, because uh, no. <laughs> I know it comes up every year. Yeah, we keep talking about it, and then it's just, again, with, we have uh, three people in our in department, limited by law, but it, it's tough to expand any program. No, I don't think. Hey, one, one quick thing for me, I, I'm gonna be done. Um, I, I know that you know, most of you are aware, and if you're not, you obviously know that Canada legalized the recreational use of marijuana. We're gonna have a problem here. We're gonna have a problem. What's gonna be even more so is my good friend, the governor, Andrew Cuomo, he's thinking about legalizing it as well. That's gonna be a bigger problem from us, for us. What I'd like to have at the end of this snowmobile season is if there's any accidents involving the use of the uh, SWI drugs, would you give us the tally of any arrests that are made that you can prove that they've been arrested for the uh, you know, use of marijuana, un un under the, under the uh, influence of marijuana? Would you forward any of those numbers you have from all the agencies here to Sergeant Cronizer in our department? I want to see the tally at the end of the year. I want to be able to bring this to the New York State Sheriff's Association uh, and also hopefully bring it to the governor's office if, 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 if we have these things. I foresee it coming. Um, it makes me nervous, and I just want uh, you guys to, know, to be aware of it as well. And I think that we need to voice our, our opinion very strongly. I, don't, I, I really don't give a damn what everyone else says that uh, we don't have a say, that we have to stand down, we have to accept this. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because God forbid one high person kills a police officer out in that trail in the up and coming years. Because that's what could happen to one of us. Because it's stupid legislation. Just keep that in mind, guys, and thanks. That's, that's my five cents. Thank you. Go ahead, Mike, introduce me. One thing I pretty forgot to do when we started is uh, introductions around the room. Uh, we have some new people here today. Uh, I'm Mike Clifford here from the Sheriff's Office. <coughs> I'm Bob McKenzie. I'm the uh, Emergency Manager, Emergency Services Coordinator for Lewis County. Pretty much one stop shopping for anything emergent. Um, Chief Bottle Washer, that's what I do. I'm Jen Marshall. I am his right hand person and Director Reiser, Sergeant, Director Special Advocate. Uh, Jim McFarland, New York State Parks. Sorry, Campbell, State Parks. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. State Parks. Eric Sleeman, State Parks. Eric Sleeman, Mark Phillips, you're talking to the Division of State Police and we're talking about the Wood State Wood State Wood State Wood Rob Snyder, Hyde County Sheriff. Jim Rowell, Federal Coordinator, New York State Snowmobile Association. Uh, Howard Combs, uh, GDC Force Ranger. Brennan Riolo, Webb Police Department. Ron Johnston, Chief of Police, Town of Webb, Town of Inlet Police. Jack Graham, Webb Town of Justice. <coughs> Cheyenne Schaff, Captain of the City of Rome Police Department. Jason Smoyer, United Nation Police Department. Ryan State, DOT. Zach Eason, Swigo County. Tim Brown, Sugar Sheriff. Greg Manelli, State DEC. John Wellington, NISA. Kyle Wiggins, uh, State DMV Investigator. Jeffrey Pierce, uh, New York State Department of Motor Vehicle Investigator. Phil LaPlante, NISA. John Marshall, Madison County Sheriff. Mike Mitchell, Tom Forge. Something called New York State Technical Commission. Tori DeMass, Town of Redfield Justice. Keith Rivers, DEC, Lionel Forge. Tim Morton, DC Police. Tim Morton, DC Police. Jeff Willis, State Police, Walter. Eric Agavisti, Station Commander, Lee Zone Beach. Mark Posowski, State Police, Zone 3. Kelly Grandma, NYSA. Matthew Brown, North Carolina Sheriff's Office. Greg LaPlante, Vice President, New York State Snowmobile Association. Roseanne Warner, President of the New York State Snowmobile Association. Jackie Mahoney, Lewis County Recreation Forestry Park. Brian Pache, Lewis County Manager. Sean Leahy, President of Rush. Susan Walzer, uh, Lewis County Area Snowmobile Association and NYSA Director of Lewis County. Jim Durkish, uh, Lewis County Rep for Senator Grippo. Douglas Agents, President of Lewis County Snowmobile Association. Okay, thank you. Um, John, do you want to 